Those monsters won't be tinkling in your water supply anymore. Wonderful. Thank you for your help. And that's how it's done. More where that came from, too. Lots of people with problems out there. And gall to make them go away. You're a real pro at this, Alvin. Hey! Hmm. No fever. How are you feeling? I don't seem to have any strength. Um, have you been eating properly? I've never eaten. Ever? Through Sylph, I drew life from the air. With Undine's power, I received sustenance from the water. What's she talking about? I guess the spirits gave her all the energy she needed. Well, now you're gonna have to nourish yourself the old-fashioned way. I see. So this is what you call hunger. <laughs> Fascinating. So, should we rest at the inn? Now that you mention it, I could use some grub myself. Quite a sigh. So seriously, you guys are spying for Ajul, right? What? Of course not. I've never heard of the Military Powers Act being used against anyone other than Ajul spies. Y you're thinking too much into this. Why are you so concerned about this? Unless you're spying for Rashagol. No, no. I was just thinking that if you were spying for Ajul, maybe you could use your connections to score me some high-paying intelligence work. Sorry to disappoint you. But I assure you, I will pay your fee. You just have to wait a little bit longer. Fair enough. But even with your special friend discount, the interest is piling up. Welcome. Three rooms, please. But before that, can we get something to eat? Oh, my apologies, but our cook isn't in yet. Hey, is she okay? Can we at least use your kitchen? Yes, please. Help yourself. Your friend looks like she's about to pass out. My stomach, it really is growling. <laughs> and here I thought that was just a silly human expression. Bad. Not bad. It's good. I quite enjoy ingesting calories with you. Humans should learn to cherish these simple pleasures.
this might be her first time sleeping, too. And apparently she never ate before today, either. Who in the world is she? She claims she's Maxwell. That Maxwell? Yeah. She's apparently a spirit in physical form. Well, not just any spirit. The Lord of Spirits. Wielder of the Four Elements. The Eldest Spirit. Maxwell has many names. And now we add Mila to that list? She's supposed to be the spirit Maxwell? You gotta be kidding me. Is Maxwell really that mighty? Of course. That's why this is so hard to swallow. I grew up hearing bedtime stories about Maxwell. What in the world would a spirit like that be trying to destroy? Trying to destroy? What are you referring to? She called it a Spyrex, I think. The device from the laboratory. Hmm. Maybe I should just ask Mila about it. I don't know. You have a nasty habit of poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Your cursed curiosity made me a wanted man too, you know. <sighs> Well, think hard before asking, okay? Yeah, you're right. Good morning. Good day, Jude. I was just about to share my plans with Alvin. What is it? I'm thinking of returning to Nia Kara. Is that your hometown? More accurately, it's where my shrine is. If I go back, I might be able to resummon the four. So, she really is Maxwell. This is where you come in, Jude. Will you accompany me to Nia Kara? What? It's true that you brought your current situation upon yourself, but I bear some of the blame as well. I'll put in a good word for you with the people of Nia Kara. I'm sure they'll look after you. Wow, you've put a lot of thought into this. Yes. Remember when you told me I seemed unconcerned? I decided to take that to heart. Mila, you don't need to practice your swordplay anymore? No need to concern yourself with my martial abilities. Well, if nothing else, you know how to swing the pointy end. Okay, I'll come with you. Good. You needn't worry. A little more practice wouldn't hurt, though. You think so? Better safe than sorry. Come find me once you're ready to go. Wait, you're coming with us, Alvin? Why not? I've come this far. Hey, Mila? Hmm? Thanks. <laughs> 